Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Graces. I am Kaito Yaiko, and in the last episode, we made it back to Telos' stew, stew, whatever, and uh, had some memories with a humanoid memory bank, and then we had a chat with Lambda, and now we're gonna have a chat with everybody, so let's talk to Hubert. So Lambda isn't enough? Now you have to take in the entire core as well? You know, it's the rest of us who suffer the most for your damn hero complex. I'm sorry, Hubert. I don't want you to worry. Oh, I'm not worried. I'll be fine. But if something happens, I don't think Sophie will ever recover. Isn't that right, Sophie? You're not just the Lord of Lant now, Asbel. You're also Sophie's father. So I hope you're strong enough to stay alive and face your new responsibilities. Hear me well, Lambda. If you refuse to release my brother, I will not be held responsible for the consequences. It's okay, Hubert. You can trust him. So then, you would stand against me to protect this fool? Perhaps it is you who are the fool to risk your life. Still, reckless courage has its own kind of charm. I would like to see more of your idiocy. Depending on your actions, I might just have to show you my thanks. What is this voice? This isn't Asbel. Is this... Lambda? See you tomorrow, Hubert. Um, yes. See you tomorrow. All right, move down on to Pascal. Pascal. Now, let me just give it the old wham bam. What are you doing, Pascal? Okay, so I was thinking how unfair it was that Asbel had to absorb the core. So I've got a new plan. Say hello to Mecha Asbel. That's not Asbel. What? Ah, oh, come on! It looks totally like him! No, it doesn't. But what are you planning to do with that exactly? See, I was thinking we could just have Lambda zap himself into Mecha Asbel here before he absorbs all the Elit. How about it, Lambda? Impossible. He says no. Come on, Lambda! This plan is awesome! Fine. I guess it really doesn't look like you after all. You think that's the problem? Well, Lambda's only helping because he likes you, yeah? I think it's more complicated. So if he doesn't like my robot, it must be because he doesn't look like you. Ah, uh, don't mind me. Your people have always been arrogant. Too much knowledge will not save a civilization. It can bring only ruin. And yet, you persist in believing your knowledge can aid others. Hey! Stop saying things! Huh? I didn't say anything. Your technology is too primitive to stand a chance of containing me. And yet I am curious to see what your determination can accomplish. Give your all to the effort, child of Amarcia. Okay, okay. I'll stop trying to get you out of Asbel. I'm surprised you'd give up so easily. Oh, I'm not giving up. I just think it's time for me to sit back and see what Lambda's all about. Hmm. Maybe I can turn Mecha Asbel here into a weapon for tomorrow. Pascal, don't forget to take a bath. Yeah, yeah, I know. Good night. I don't know if anyone else is down here, but I have to go upstairs now, but I'm gonna check in this room. 
Oh, I have a feeling there's nobody in this room. Good to know. Alright then. In that case, I think I can go upstairs now. Here we go. Or downstairs. Still busy, I see. Yeah, just tinkering with stuff for tomorrow. What are you doing up, little bro? You all worried about your big brother? In a way. Aw, he's gonna be fine. I don't think Lambda's gonna try anything funny. But even so... I get ya. You never know what's gonna happen until it does, yeah? But gosh, little bro, you sure do worry about Asbel a lot. Stop calling me that. I'm a grown man. Why, even now I'm considering an offer of marriage. You're getting married, little bro? Aw, congratulations! Congre- No, that's not- I'm not going to accept. What? How come? Because I- Because- Because my every waking thought is consumed by you. Um, yeah. I guess I kind of figured that. You, you did? I mean, well, that's not a bad thing, is it? Don't you worry, little bro. I promise to take a bath before the ceremony! What? Hey, I totally understand. You don't want some smelly friend stinking up your fancy wedding. So I'll take a bath and use soap and everything. Okay, now let's see what you can do, Mecha Asbel. Huh? It blew up! And I'm usually so good at this kind of thing. Ah, oh, the cuteness. It kills me. Pretty sure Pascal knew exactly what Hubert was getting at, but tried to play it off because she was embarrassed. It's cute, though. Oh, let's talk to Richard. Asbel, Sophie. Can't sleep, Richard? I keep trying, but I fear it's a lost cause. I can't stop thinking about tomorrow. About what I would do if you ended up like... me. I told you, that's not gonna happen. Remember when we were young? It made me happy to know that you trusted me. When I grew up, I made one terrible mistake after another. But it helped me to know I could support you. Without that trust, I wouldn't be the man I am now. It's the same with Lambda. I need to trust him. I need to believe in whatever made him protect us. When Lambda was inside me, I... I was enslaved by him. I wasn't able to face him the way you can. Spoken in a while, Richard. We used to feed off resentment, and it allowed our hatred to grow strong. We believed we could save the other from loneliness. But I don't need to tell you how that turned out. You and I are both indebted to this man. I will repay my debt. The path you choose is up to you. Lambda. Asbel, I just heard Lambda's voice. Sophie, I think Asbel and Lambda are actually getting along. You won't have to fight him again. I've decided to place my trust in Lambda as well. Thanks, Richard. Can you hear me, Lambda? I know that I failed you. And so you may not care what I have to say.
All right, who's next? Well, well, not this pillar, of course. Ah, uh, here. Got Captain over here. Tomorrow we risk all for our homeworld. Don't you two think you should get some rest? Captain, I can't sleep. Will you just talk to me? <sighs> all right. You said you were scared of losing the ones you love, right? I know how you feel. I know it better than most. But you must not let yourself be ruled by fear. Let me ask you a question. What's the best way to be with those you love? To protect them? Correct. But to do that, you must transform your fear into strength. Fear into strength? However, strength alone is not enough. You must also believe in those you love and honor their feelings. The better you know a person, the easier it is to keep them safe. You are an ancient creature, Sophie, but in many ways you are still a child. Life has lessons yet to teach you. Some will be enjoyable, and some will come with pain. You must face the painful lessons and learn from them. It's the only way to grow stronger. When we have finished this business with Fodra, you will be stronger for it. And then I can protect you all? I have no doubt. Thank you, Captain. Same to you. Good luck tomorrow, Asbel. The fear of loss is strong in you. It is a fear honed sharp against a stone of countless pains. By showing these children the true path, you show it also to yourself. Fascinating. May your devotion to the path be a shining example to those around you. It's true. Perhaps they teach me more than I know. Captain Malik? Enough chatter. Get yourselves to bed, and that's in order. Yes, sir. Cool. Is Sherry down here too, or do I have to go somewhere else to find her? I feel like I have to talk to everybody, and then Sherry appeared somewhere else randomly. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't quote me on that, though. Sherry, you here? There you are. Sherry? Hey, Sheria, are you still mad? I'm worried, Asbel. I'm not mad. Oh, sorry. Look, can't you find a way to trust Lambda? I want to, I do, but I just... Listen, let's make a promise. A promise? I've learned something from all this. When I was young, I used to think my family was holding me back. But now I know they acted that way because they cared for me. So I've been wondering if it's possible for me to care about someone in the same way. And I can think of only two people who might fit the bill. Two? Please don't tell me you're planning to adopt another, Sophie. No, Sheria. What I need is someone to look after Sophie with me. Oh. This person has always been close to me, but I've been too stupid to see it. So when we get back, I plan to tell her. But right now, I need you to trust me and trust Lambda and wait for us both. Will you do that, Sheria? Asbel. Asbel, if you make a promise, you have to use your pinky. I suppose so. Okay, Sharia. It's a promise. Few know the preciousness of life as you do. Huh? The man before you is a fool.
But beneath his idiocy hides a layer of steel. I owe him much, and shall repay that debt to the best of my abilities. However, this fool dared to challenge even me. Who knows what he might do in the future? He's already shown that he'll throw his own life away for the sake of others. Let him know you understand this, and hold him to his promise. That voice... Sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Listen to me, Asbel. If you don't keep your promise, I will never forgive you. Don't you say something for a promise? Cross your heart, hope to die, stick a needle in your eye. Okay, I'll look for a needle. Wow, you guys are serious. I guess I have to keep my promise, huh? You'd better believe it. <laughs> now, Sophie, make sure to take a bath and change your clothes before you sleep, okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you both tomorrow. Sorry, looking at your face, I started thinking back on something my dad once said. When I first brought you home, he told me I'd never be able to take care of you. I wonder what he'd say now. <laughs> I bet he'd still say I couldn't do it. I often wish I could see dad again, just once. He was a good man, you know. He wanted the best for his people's future and for ours. I want to carry his hopes and dreams into the future. Into the future? I want to help the people of Launt live happier lives, even if just a little. And I want the same happiness for their children and their grandchildren and onward. But I've only got one life, you know? There's only so much I can do. I guess it'll be up to my descendants to carry on the legacy. I hope they're up for it. I hope they think this dream is as important as I do. Too bad I can't stick around and see how it turns out, huh? I'll stick around. I'll stick around as long as it takes. I can tell your children and grandchildren I can tell everyone about your dream. Will you trust me with your dream, Asbel? Sophie. It's hard to believe I was so worried for all this time. You'll never be gone, even after you die. Because your dream will live on. I have a purpose now, Asbel. I will see your dream fulfilled. You're really something, Sophie. You know that? Okay. And there's... Oh, yeah. Uh... How do you spell it? I don't even think that's the right word. Could be. I know I read the password earlier, but I wasn't paying attention. It might have been satellite for all I know. I think I saw the word satellite in the password, but or in the thing that said the password, but I didn't pay attention. I'll get it later. Can I get to the save point for another scene or no? Maybe. Hey Sharia. How you doing? Yeah, see you tomorrow. I'm gonna real quick just... Uh, the first floor. I guess someone with the, the safe point. Alright, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the episode here. And in the next episode, 
Uh, we probably head to Fodra's core, I think, or start getting towards that. I think we go into the... I think the final dungeon is actually after the next few scenes, so it'll be great. And I can beat the game, and then it'll be the end, and then I might do extra stuff, but probably not, because honestly this game's extra stuff is kind of boring. So anyways, that'll be the end of this episode. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.